Well, so I thought I'd do something a little bit different. I get uh, a few inquiries about some of the spices and sauces and rubs and stuff that I like to use when I'm cooking. So I thought what I'll do is do a couple of quick videos just to show you some of the basic stuff that I like to have uh, and um, just use it as a little bit of a guide in relation to what you might like to have uh, in your seasoning. Okay, so the first one that I like is the Hardcore Carnivore range. So Hardcore Carnivore uh, Black is uh, my go-to for uh, anything to do with steak. Um, beautiful seasoning, doesn't uh, not too salty, doesn't not too spicy. Uh, Jess, who is the creator of the Hardcore Carnivore range, she's Australian, but she actually lives in uh, Texas. She's married to an American gentleman. So she's moved her, her business over there. They've got a whole range of stuff. They do um, a red one, which I like for, for pork. Uh, they do one for lamb and game. They do a couple of different spicy ones, a Tex-Mex one, that sort of thing. So really, really good range. Always have some of that in the go. Beautiful flavor. Next one, Flaming Coles Bovine Espresso Brisket and Steak Rub. So I use this predominantly for brisket. Uh, the coffee taste is quite uh, mild, which is what you want, because otherwise it can be a little bit bitter. So uh, this one, beautiful flavour. Once again, not too salty. Uh, you can be quite generous with it. Um, uh, really sits well with brisket. Obviously, you can use it with steak. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's another one that's a must-have for me. So when it comes to poultry... Um, most of you guys know I like to do uh, whole chicken and duck on the charcoal rotisserie. We'll also do turkey, chicken, duck pieces on the charcoal weather. Atomic chicken range. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Must have. Even if you're doing chicken in the oven at home and you want to give it that charcoal chicken flavour, get yourself some of this. Okay. They also do a peri-peri flavouring and their own chicken salt. This stuff is really good. They do a stuffing, uh, seasoning, they do all sorts of things. This goes really well with duck, turkey, chicken. Um, absolutely fantastic. If you have trouble getting hold of this stuff or you don't know where to go to get it, drop me a, drop me a message and I can point you in the right direction. Something else I like, so this is the Meat Church Barbecue Pecan Rub. Uh, Meat Church are another one that do a whole range of rubs. I like their pecan rub. This is a really good one for things like uh, lamb and pork. I also do use it on red meat, particularly if I'm using something a little bit spicy like one of the Hardcore Carnivore spicy rubs. Uh, this is absolutely fantastic. Um, balances out that spicy flavour a bit. Really, really nice. Once again, not too salty. So when it comes to seafood, this is the one I use. Now, this is an American uh, an American seasoning. It's, it's quite popular over there. Uh, very, very good for, uh, for seafood. So I'll use it to season uh, fish and crab. Uh, it's also really good to use in uh, sauces, dipping sauces and so forth for, for things like prawns. Uh, just put a little bit in with some... Uh, whatever sort of sauce you want to you want to make with it and um, uh, it's really really nice it is a little bit spicy but it's not too bad um, so just a little bit of trial and error if you have trouble getting hold of this stuff there's a store in Moorabbin here in Victoria USA Foods if you google it they have it uh, you can order stuff online I believe they'll mail out. Uh, if not, if they do, uh, they do do click and collect. So you can uh, certainly order it online and uh, pay for it. And if need be, if they won't deliver to where you are, uh, just let me know. I'll go and uh, pick it up for you. I'll collect the order and uh, I can ship it up. But this is one that's definitely really good to have. Now going on to basic seasonings, kosher salt. Okay. I love this stuff. I know a lot of you see stuff and you go, oh, yeah, these, these Himalayan pink rock salt that's mined from the third mountain in the range and brought down by Sherpas. <sighs> Kosher salt, okay? 
Two words, kosher salt. That's it. Good stuff for seasoning meat. Remember, meat loves salt, salt loves meat. Okay? That's all you need, kosher salt. Now, smoked paprika. Okay, that's something that uh, I use a lot of, particularly in dairy-based sauce. So things like your um, uh, mayonnaise, I use a lot in hollandaise. It's good for seasoning eggs, it's good for seasoning fish, all sorts of stuff. It's absolutely fantastic, uh, good all-round spice to have. Now, the next one, chilli flakes. Okay, chilli flakes, uh, obviously I use a lot of, you can, good all-round seasoning. Uh, even if you're doing sous vide, uh, things in sous vide, so like for instance if I do tuna steaks, I often put some chilli flakes, olive oil and some dill into the uh, into the, the vacuum seal bag with the fish, throw out the water bath and it really absorbs the flavour nicely. Okay, saffron, uh, about the only thing more expensive than petrol and printer ink at the moment, uh, but absolutely beautiful. You only need small amounts. It, uh, it gives your food a nice flavour and colour. Um, I use it a lot for saffron rice, potatoes, cauliflower, that sort of thing. Uh, very, very nice uh, flavour to the food. And lastly, this is not going to be very popular, but too bad. I like it. MSG. So MSG, king of flavour. Okay. I use MSG a lot for um, uh, things like egg fried rice or stir fry dishes. Uh, instead of salt for seasoning meat that I'm going to use for, uh, say, something like a Mongolian beef dish, instead of salt, I'll use a small amount of MSG. And you know what? I haven't lost any limbs. My lungs haven't collapsed. You know, my eyeballs haven't fallen out. Everything's still fine, okay? Um, small amounts, like everything else, it's a, a really good seasoning. Okay, guys, so that's a, uh, a rundown on some of the basic seasonings I use. If you have trouble getting hold of any, uh, give us a yell, drop me a message, and I'll uh, see if I can hook you up. Okay, bye.